Chapter 1 Cellular and Molecular Biology of Aqueous Hemodynamics from Shields Textbook of Glaucoma, 6th edition, page number 30, part 4. Function and Composition of Aqueous Humor. Function The circulating aqueous humor has at least the following functions a. Maintaining proper intraocular pressure which is important in early ocular development as well as in maintaining globe integrity throughout life. b. Providing substrates and removing metabolites from the cornea, lens and trabecular meshwork. c. Delivering high concentration of ascorbate. d. Participating in local paracrine signaling and immune responses and E. Providing a colorless and transparent medium as a part of the eye's optical system. Composition The following statements summarized in Table 1.3 describe the general characteristics of aqueous humor expressed related to plasma. Aqueous humor of both the anterior and the posterior chambers is slightly hypertonic compared with plasma. It is acidic with a pH of 7.2 in the anterior chamber. The two most striking characteristics of aqueous humor are a marked excess of ascorbic acid. It is 15 times greater than that of the arterial plasma. And b a marked deficit of protein that is 0.02% in aqueous humor compared with 7% in plasma. To illustrate the constant metabolic interchanges that occur with various ocular tissues, the cornea takes glucose and oxygen from the aqueous humor and releases lactic acid and a small amount of CO2 into the aqueous humor. The lens takes up glucose, potassium and amino acids from the aqueous humor and generates lactate and pyruvate. However, Close similarities in aqueous humor composition between the phacic and aphacic eye of the same individual suggest that lens metabolism has practically no influence on the composition of aqueous humor. The exchange between the vitreous and retina with aqueous humor has been shown for amino acids and glucose passing into the vitreous from the aqueous humor. The relative concentrations of free amino acids in human aqueous humor vary with ratios of aqueous humor to plasma concentrations ranging from 0.08 to 3.14, supporting the concept of active transport of amino acids. The concentrations of most other ions and non electrolytes are very close to those in the plasma and conflicting statements in the literature primarily represent differences with regard to spaces and measurement techniques. In general, human aqueous humor has a slight excess of chloride and a deficiency of bicarbonate and CO2. Lactic acid is reported to be in relative excess in human aqueous humor. Although this determination varies widely with the techniques of measurement, Sodium in rabbits and glucose in human eyes show a relative deficiency in the aqueous humor. Other molecules that have been identified in human aqueous humor may be considered potential paracrine signaling molecules, meaning that these molecules are circulated and distributed to local tissues. Sodium hyaluronate, a glycosaminoglycan, was reported to have a mean value of 1.14 plus minus 0.46 mg per gram in human aqueous humor obtained before cataract extraction with no substantial difference in patients with diabetes or glaucoma. Signaling molecules such as catecholamine, norepinephrine and nitric oxide have been identified in human aqueous humor. Various components of the coagulation and anticoagulation pathways may be present in human aqueous humor with an overall trend toward fibrinolytic activity. Various components involved in the maintenance of extracellular matrix have been detected in aqueous humor, which may influence the trabecular meshwork activity and subsequently 
the IOP. Several growth factors, which are polypeptides involved in the homeostatic balance of cells in a tissue, have been detected in human aqueous humor. And receptors for many of these factors have been identified on the appropriate target tissues, such as tubercular meshwork and cornea. Of interest, myosinin has been detected in normal aqueous humor, but it is absent in the aqueous humor of patients with myosinin associated glaucoma. Table 1.3 General character of human aqueous humor expressed related to plasma. It is slightly hypertonic, its acidic is PAT 7.2 in anterior chamber because of increased lactic acid, pyruvic acid and ascorbic acid and ascorbic acid concentration is very high that is 15 times more than that in the plasma. There is marked deficits of protein which is 0.02% as compared to the plasma where it is 7%. Then there is light excess of chloride ions and lactic acid. Lactic acid comes from cornea and lens. Slight deficit of sodium, rapid study, bicarbonate, carbon dioxide, glucose. Other reported constituents or features, amino acids with variable concentrations with a ratio ranging from 0.08 to 3.14 showing more concentration because it is actively secreted into the posterior chamber. Then sodium hyaluronic acid, norepinephrine, coagulation properties, tissue plasma neutral activator, latent collagenase activity and this table is derived from studies but the results vary with measurement technique now the functions and composition of aqueous humor can be summarized as functions of aqueous humor one, that is first, maintaining proper intraocular pressure, which is important in early ocular development to shape the cornea, even the sclera, maintaining globe integrity throughout the life. Then, second, is providing nutrition, substrates, and the removal of metabolites from cornea, lens, and tubercular mesh work. Delivering a high concentration of ascorbic acid. Fourth, participation in local paracrine system and local immune response. Fifth, providing a colorless and transparent ocular medium as a part of eye's ocular system. This was all about the functions of aqueous humor. Now, composition. <coughs> composition of aqueous humor. It is slightly hypertonic as compared to the plasma. Then it is acidic with pH 7.2. It is acidic because of the lactate pyruvic acid that comes from cornea and the lens and increased ascorbic acid that is actively secreted from the plasma into the anterior chamber from non-pigmented epithelial cells. Then increased ascorbic acid. It is marked excess of ascorbic acid. It is 15 times more than in the plasma in an uh, aqueous humor. Then there is marked deficits of the proteins which is 0.02% in aqueous humor and which is 7% in the plasma obviously proteins has to be less because it has to be transparent now E is free amino acids now free amino acid concentration it varies its ratio varies from 0.08 to 3.14 and showing free amino acid concentration in aqueous humor is more than that in the plasma with variable ratio that is 0.08 to 3.14 aqueous to plasma concentration because amino acids are actively secreted into the posterior chamber and they provide nutrition to the cornea and the lens also the exchange between the posterior chamber and vitreous and retina is observed of amino acid now the slight excess of chloride and lactic acid. Lactic acid is metabolic waste from cornea and the lens, even the pyruvic acid. Then the slight deficit of sodium bicarbonate, carbon dioxide and glucose. Obviously it's CO3 minus and CO2 or less H2CO3. Carbonic acid decreased.
Now Lens takes glucose, potassium, amino acids from aqueous humor and cornea takes glucose and oxygen and then Lens releases lactic acid, pyruvic acid and cornea releases CO2 and lactic acid into the aqueous humor. Lens metabolism has practically no influence on composition of aqueous humor because same composition of aqueous humor is found in olfakic and fakic eyes. Exchange of amino acids and glucose seen between retina vitreous and aqueous humor. Other constituents of aqueous humor 1. Sodium hyaluronic acid is a paracrine molecule. Its concentration is same, it remains same in diabetes mellitus and glucose. Second, nitric oxide, third, norepinephrine, and fourth, catecholamines. These are signaling molecules. Nitric oxide, norepinephrine, and catecholamines are signaling molecules. Fifth is various components of coagulation and anticoagulation pathways overall trained towards fibrinolytic activity. For example, it has tissue plasminogen activator. Then, sixth, Various components related to maintaining extracellular matrix, for example, collagenase, and it may influence the tubercular matrix activity and hence it helps in maintaining the intracellular pressure. Now, seven, several growth factors and polypeptides for maintaining homeostatic balance of tissues like tubercular matrix and cornea because they express the cell receptors for these growth hormone and polypeptides. An uh, example of which is myosin. So myosin is present in normal aqueous humor, but it is absent in myosin associated glaucoma. So that was all about the functions and composition of aqueous humor. So this much is enough for today. Thank you.